yeah, 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 yeah. Conversations with a queen. We're going to get right into it, man. You know, it, it, it's hard to get this lady to get on the phone or say anything and shit like that, man. But I got her, and we're going to be talking a whole lot of shit, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to see where it's at, man. Check this out, man. I got Couture on the line. Yo, Couture, what's up? What's good, Devo? I'm calling. Oh, man, okay. man. You, <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you didn't want to hear my voice. You're like, oh, we, I got to do this shit, man. What's going on, Couture? I'm just chilling. I mean, I'm home relaxing. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I hear that. I hear that. All right, man, we ain't going to sugarcoat shit, man. We're going to get right. This, this is what the people want to hear. Man. That's why they listen to this show, man. We get right to the, to, the, to, the, to the bullshit, man. Let's go, man. Listen, man, what happened to you, man, that day at NHB2, man? Talk to the people, man. Let, 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 let's hear it. I had to get a tooth extraction. Tell so. the, listen, listen, listen. Tell the truth. I mean, the truth could talk. I mean, on them boys. I'm just <laughs> oh, you're funny. I had to get that joke. Yeah, I know. Uh, boo. Go yeah. ahead, not nah, go ahead. No, I did. I tried to. Um, um, I had a tooth that that was bothering me. I tried to prolong it and do it after the battle, but like I said, it only got worse. So I had to. I had to handle it. <laughs> like I definitely okay. didn't want to. I've never no short for a battle. I've never missed a battle. So, I mean, I definitely felt like I let my supporters down. And I wanted to be there, but, I mean, shit happens, and sometimes it's beyond your control. Okay, so the rumors so the rumors about you not having your bars ready or being prepared and all that <clears throat> stuff, that's not true. Definitely not true. I'm always okay, prepared. All right. So was you prepared for Tori that night? If your tooth wasn't hurting? Yes. My shit was fucked okay. up. My shit was fucked up. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Well, I posted this up day, my vid on Instagram. I went and get got it pulled, pulled, put the vid up. So, I mean, it wasn't no bullshit. Okay, all right, all right. Now, now answer this, man. Did you, I, I just want to know. I just want to know. Did you have a prop for Tori that, that night, man? We don't have to tell you. You don't have to tell me what it is. But did you have a prop that night for Tori, yes or no? <clears throat> I'm not going to tell. I mean, I'm not going to tell anything because at the end of the day, me and Tori still got a battle. Like, ain't nothing changed. If anything, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just improving. I'm just improving on what I already have ready. So, I'm not gonna you gonna get crazy? You gonna you, you finna get crazy? You gonna get crazy? Keep it on. You gonna get crazy? That's what I do. I guess that's what I do. <laughs> I mean, I always put on the show, so that's to be expected. Ladies and gentlemen, I know they hate my gunshots, but I got to how confident are you going into this battle February 7th, man? Watch the throne, mm. too. Get your tickets now. How how confident are you going into this battle, Couture? I mean, I'm very confident. I mean, it's not it's not like a battle that, you know, it's not something I really wanted, but I think it's going to be a great battle. And the fact that I didn't see whoa, the video, whoa, whoa, but whoa, I heard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's explore that. Whoa, whoa, you, whoa. Just said, you just said it's something that you ain't wanted? I said it's not something that I really wanted. Like, Tori wasn't somebody that I was calling out, but at the end of the day, I know that me and her will put on a great battle. The fans want to see it, you know. The fans want to see it more Being than ever now. They... Yeah. And um, I didn't see the video, but I, I heard that Tori was saying I'm, I was ducking her. So let me say you that was, that was the attitude no, no. to the fire. You, I, I, think, I, I think you was ducking her, Tori. All right, so let's go back to when I battled Jay Smooth, and I clearly say in that battle, Devo, you know you was trying to set me and Tori up after I battled Jada, and she was the one mm-hmm. not picking up the phone. As I recall, she was not picking up the phone, so who was ducking who? I've never ducked anybody. Every time you hit me up and you say you want to set it up, I'm never shutting well, maybe, down. Hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That was a shot. I don't know. It probably was a shot toward me and shit. That damn, I, 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 I'm <laughs> clear on that one. Well, you know, maybe Tori was looking for somebody with a bigger name. Not saying you didn't have a big name, but, you know, you never know, man. You know, these yeah, girls, they want to battle, they want to battle. That's how she felt. Okay. Right. Okay. All right. Well, let me let me ask let me ask you this. Let me let me let me ask you this, man. You 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 have a big fan base and shit, man. Like when that day that happened that you didn't show up and shit like that. Was 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 the people getting at you or they was just showing you support? Like yo, 
don't worry, you know what I'm saying, we're going to be there next time, Couture, we're going to mm-hmm. do X, Y, and Z. Because, you know, the battle almost didn't happen, you know what I'm saying? Toy was just, she was about to right. keep it moving and shit, like, say, fuck it, ah, you know what I'm saying? But, which is rightfully so, you know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at her for saying that, because, you know, she wanted to, the shit to go down. Right. But, you know, cool, cooler heads prevailed, and, you know, like the professional she is, she said, you know what, fuck it, let's do it. And shit, you know what I'm saying? But what was the backlash? Did you feel the backlash going towards you and shit with the day the day it happened? Did you go on the gram, Twitter, <clears throat> Facebook, or whatever, and looked at the comments and shit? Like, how did it make you feel? Go ahead. I mean, it was a little bit of both. You had the fans that was pissed off, you know, saying, fuck the tour, blah, 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 she ain't show up. Then you had the ones that understand at the end of the day we're human beings, like we have a life outside of battle rap. You know, it's not like <clears throat> I was just shutting the battle down. It's still going to happen. I just couldn't make it that day. Like, shit happens. So... But it shows you know me Couture, how quick people I, you know, will flip you know, on you. You know what, Couture, I, I can't accept that excuse. Like Farrah said, man, you was on them stairs talking about you ready to fuck shit up and you're going to be there February, I mean, not February, or the day of that battle. <laughs> did yes, you see I that vlog with Farrah talking crazy? No, I didn't watch it. I seen, like, I seen it, it pops up in my news feed or whatever, but I never took the time to watch it. Because I knew okay. it was pretty much some bullshit. So. Right. And I okay. just couldn't explain oh, wow. it. But. Shot. I'm going slow today. I got to wake my ass up. I got to wake up. I got to wake up. All right. So let's turn up from here, man. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to make this a boring interview. Fuck that shit. You know what I'm saying? Lo, how do you feel? Let's get this shit out the way. You know what I'm saying? We're going to jump back and forth out this motherfucker. How do you feel about the shade being thrown at you? About you know the um the BT cipher and shit you know how 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 do you feel about about the shade and shit like that what what is your your, your take on it Couture? Um, my take on it is this: Could I have done better on the awards? Yeah, I could have. But I was at the same time I was preparing for a battle at the same time preparing for one of the biggest moments of my life. Was I nervous? Yeah, I was nervous. So I could have did better. But at the same time, with people throwing shade. I'm the only female battle rapper that ever step on that stage and do a live cipher. So I think at the same time I was opening doors for females. <laughs> and I think since I oh, came into battle cool. rap in a short time, I feel like from doing from being on going to World Star, doing Snoop's Gladiator School, to going on the BT Awards, like I feel like some people were hating because you know they probably who wouldn't have wanted that position, the opportunity, who wouldn't have. So of course anybody's gonna say, oh, I could have did a better job. But until you're in the position, you're up there on live TV in front of freaking celebrities that you grew up watching. Like, you don't know, you don't, you don't know what they're going to do. <sighs> Couture, she, she, she's, the, the pot is simmering. The pot is simmering. She, she's, talk, she, she's almost there talking that shit. She's borderline. I'm going I'm to try to make her go overboard and let the pot boil over. And she, the water boil over the pot, man, when she's going to get crazy. <laughs> Number one, in this interview, slow <sighs> your... You slow your answers down. That New England accent is crazy. Say World Star one more they, time. They understand me. <laughs> say, say, say World when Star. I, when one I'm more in the ring, they hear me. World Star. <laughs> oh my God. Don't play with me, people. All right, cool. Um, so that's your take on it. You feel like you could have did better, but you know, pretty much, you know, you open the doors for female, you know, any you know, period, like female battle rap by just. Doing what you, I honestly think you know what I'm saying. You know, you you, you well, definitely look good up there as far as far as your your, your appearance and shit and the bars. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, let's keep it a hundred. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna sugarcoat this motherfucker. You know, at the end of the day, anybody would up there would have been nervous about what's going on, what's going down. You know what I'm saying? You had a little slip up, yeah, but I think you actually did good. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, for what you did, so it could have been way worse. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? You could have been, you could have drew a blank. And forgot all your bars, you know what I'm saying? It was a live screen. It's like you couldn't just do that shit over. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't live, actually live there. Mm-hmm. It was a pre screening, but it wasn't no, okay, yo, she fucked that up. Let, let's do it again. Nah, niggas was right. like, it's a old it's a whole show, like a Broadway play. So, you know, actually I applaud you, you know what I'm saying? Because there's too much hate in the world. So I salute yeah. you for even doing that, you know what I'm saying? And and repping the brand and repping New England and repping yourself. And you know, just it, it, it just it is what it is, man, and, and shit like that. And I, I'm so, I'm know. my biggest critic, so I'm always gonna feel like I'm always gonna feel like I could do better. Every time I step in the ring, I go back and watch my battles, and even though the fans love it, I'm thinking to myself, "Well, I could have did this better, could have did that better." And um, it's always gonna be that way. But I'm definitely proud of myself because did I ever think I would be up on the beat, you know, on the BT network with you know everybody watching me. I'm proud of myself. I'm patting myself on the back because at the end of the day, mm-hmm. I inspired somebody. I inspired somebody. 
That's right. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Let me ask you this. Your battle career, you know, do you feel like you're undefeated? Yeah, I feel like I'm undefeated because no one can say that they clearly have Hold on. Me. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> We're getting to it. This is, where the, this is where the water boils over the pot. Couture, let me ask you this question again before I get into it with you. Do you feel like you're undefeated? I feel like I'm undefeated. Nobody can say they clearly beat me. I may have a debatable, but no one, no one can say they three owed me. Therefore, so I'm wait a minute. Let, 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 let's let's explore, let's explore that. You know what I'm saying? You know, are, you, are we going to use debatable as an excuse of saying I won that battle? Because even as a debatable, you you won a yeah, war. If it's, something if happened. It, if, it's, if it's a debatable, a debatable to me. That like, means it's a tie. Me and, and I don't feel like I don't feel like I've lost any battle. I read the comments, I see what the fans say. Like, they say me and Jada is debatable. People go back and forth on that battle all the time. So I'm going to say I took it. I'm sure she probably feel like she took it. But it's debatable. I haven't lost a battle. No one's saying nobody has killed me in that ring. Yo, listen, Cassie Ty runs around here talking about she busts your ass. I'm just well, saying. <laughs> do not play with me with that battle. I'm just saying. The, the, the that definitely, boiling. Didn't, Hold that on. definitely didn't happen. And the pot is whistling. You sure you ain't lose the cash you try? I'm just saying, you know, you want me to, you want me to take that battle down so you, you know we got act like nothing ever happened. Honestly, like that battle, I, I didn't really take that battle that serious. At the time, I didn't battle lost? Lap, No, I didn't lose. Okay. You think I lost the cash you tie, Devo? If anything, I think I got more. Sure. I got more reaction. I got more reaction. Um, than cashy in that battle. But I don't feel like I came in taking it serious. I didn't come in wanting to be a battle rapper, wanting to battle rap. Somebody talking, you know, mm. DJ Ruckus, well, Lady so, Ruckus, so, talking so, me into doing it. So, <clears throat> so hold on. Let's explore that then when you say that. Because there was a big transformation from, from that battle you had the first time to the battle you had right. the second spa session that you had when we was in the um, rehearsal studio. And, you know, you right. just, everything just, you just did a, 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 a complete turn from exactly it's from obscurity to, to 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 world star and shit like you know what I'm saying what what was in your mind that made you change that wanted to be you know a part of this that wanted to take this serious and take it to the next level what went through your mind and said fuck this shit i'm gonna write these bars i mean when i actually came out when i came out and when i got the experience of being there at the venue battling cashy ties like just the whole vibe made me want to take it more serious. But like I said, when I came in, it was just like, you know, people talking me into talking me into doing it, saying you need to try this out. I really didn't want to do it, which is why, you know, Lady E stepped up first because I wasn't going to do it. Right. So when I came out mm-hmm. there and got the feeling, I actually liked it. So the next time you stepped right. into the battle, I came out there and I took that shit serious. Right. And I took it serious self defense. And all, all hell broke loose. How did it make you feel being on World Star? catching all that, you know, shit going viral and, and everybody just saying, like, who the fuck is that? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I, describe that feeling to an up-and-comer <clears throat> that wants to be in your position and do what you do and shit. I mean, it was cool. It was a good feeling. You know, have everybody hitting me up saying, you know, they checked me out. They seen me on World Star. And it was awkward at the same time. I'm a real, like, low-key, laid-back, private person. So to see that, you know, it was like millions, millions of views in a day. Like, I thought it was crazy, but it was a good feeling to be coming fresh into battle rap and already, you know, making a present. Okay. So let, let's let, so let, let's go here. You're a very down, low-key person. Like, you're not really too much on social media. Or you don't congregate with a lot of people and shit or converse and, you know, being in, 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 in the mix and, you know, being messy and all that mixy and shit. How I'm, how the hell do you have this rabid ass fan base that's just like crazy and shit? You got these couture fans going cool cool for cocoa puffs out this motherfucker. Now a lot of people attest that to the world star situation. You know what I'm saying? But at, at the same time, world stars are coming go. You're not on world star every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? You still got this fucking right. fan base. Can you explain to me on what the fuck is going on and why do you think your God's gift? To, to apple pie or whatever and shit, man. Hit me with, <laughs> with the explanation. I mean, I don't really know. I think people just appreciate the fact that I came in and brought something different. That I bring something different. And even though I'm not online all the time being messy, because that's Nigga, just not you my brought style. Massingale. 
You bought Mad and Kill. You bought yeah, you bought something different, all right, man. You bought some fucking yellow tape and shit. But you know, come on. Give me the real reason you think that the that the fans, you know what I'm saying, come and and, and, and bow at your feet and shit, so to speak and shit, man. It's gotta be a reason. No, I think they just appreciate what I do and at the same time. I am on social media. I'm just not on there talking shit because that's, that's not what I do. But if my supporters okay. hit me up, if anybody hits me up on Instagram, like I make sure I'm, I'm replying to everybody. I um, People, well, my Facebook is shut down now, but people used to inbox me. And I hold conversations. I'm just real down to earth. I'm never Hollywood. So, I mean, I think okay. they just appreciate the person I am. I don't really know. Let me ask you a question. You think you have a responsibility as a woman? to present yourself a certain way in battle rap or just as an entertainer, period? Because you're more of a, of a reserved mm-hmm. person, you know what I'm saying? Like I said once again, you're not in the mix, you're not messy, you know what I'm saying? You don't do too much extra shit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Not blaming that anybody else does this shit. I'm mm-hmm. just saying I'm, I'm critiquing you on why, how you go about things as far as being in the, in the public eye. Do you feel like, you know, mm-hmm. you have a responsibility to, to, to the game to, or to the, you know, up-and-coming you know, female battle rapper or, or just the fans period and shit? I don't really feel like I have a responsibility. I just, I just be me, that's all. I don't have, I don't feel like I need to come into this being somebody that I'm not. Um, there's definitely another side to me. There's many sides to me, but this is, this is who I am. And I don't let people bring me out of, I don't let people, you know, make me step out of character. So, no, I don't feel like it's a responsibility. Okay, okay. I just, I just right. me. We gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm driving the car. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm about to make a left when you can talk. I'm about <laughs> to make a left. A lot. You ready for this? Now, a lot, when, you had your, when you had your relationship with Charlie Clips, you know what I'm saying? A little bit yeah, after. I, I don't know coming. which battle. I, yeah, it's got to cut. It's got, we got to take it there. A little bit after, you know what I'm saying? People kind of felt mm-hmm. like, you know, your rhyme pattern, so to speak, or your or, or your content was similar to his. You know what I'm saying? Is there something you want to tell us, Couture? You know, is there something you want to say? Me and Charlie sound nothing alike. Like, our styles are totally different. I don't know where people would get that from, but we sound nothing alike. Our, the way we, <clears throat> our setups are different, the way we go about, like, I, I'm more, I'm more personal than tops and shit, and I don't think that's something like, he would ever do. In fact, when I was preparing, when I was preparing for um, official and I had the whole drill sergeant shit, so you're telling me not mm-hmm. to do it, but you know I am. Just like when you tell me not to do something, you tell me not to do something, I'm still going to do it. Like, yeah, yeah, we, I that know whole you. Shit. <laughs> yeah, and, right. and then after the battle came out, he was like, oh, now I see what you was talking about. That shit actually came out hot. Like, he, he right. thought I should Oh, no, that's classic couture. We're we, we, we very glad you did that. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 was a big part of the night. That that was dope. That was fire and shit. But you don't think he probably rubbed off on you a little bit? Y'all don't be sparring or practicing and stuff like that, or y'all just had that had that type of relationship where you know, you do your battles and I'll do mine. Just mind your fucking business and keep it moving. I mean, no, I don't think he rubbed off on me. Like we definitely like I would spit. I would let him hear hear bars. He would let me hear bars when he was doing battles. But I don't think we rub off on each other or nothing like that. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. All right. Well, let me see here. February 7th, Watch the Throne 2, you versus Tori Doe. This could right. be a big challenge for you, man. Like, you been, you and your fans been hitting me on social media all day, talking about, yo, give Couture a challenge. Give her a top tier, man. Stop fucking around, Debo. You keep fucking up. Hey, you listen. This right here can make you or break you, man. This could tell us what Couture is really about. I mean, no disrespect to any other opponents, you know what I'm saying, before you and shit like that, because you had some dope opponents. Yeah, I was going to say, any battle can make you break you had Jay. Say it again. I said any battle, any battle can make or break. I don't see this battle as any different from any of my other ones. I don't sleep on anybody, so. <sighs> that was, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know, but I'm just, I'll just say it's a shot. You're battling Tori, though. You understand what I'm saying? She's a young, right. hungry, right. Harlem chick. That She will style on you, Couture. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? She will style on you, Couture. 
Yeah, that's that's what her you gonna strength. Do? Her, her strength her strength is her swag in the ring, just like official strength was punched in the ring, but I mean, I think I've been able to match everybody's style. I'm, I'm able to match my opponent's style. Were you scared? Were you were you scared when you had the battle official? Keep it a hundred, because I'll tell the truth to the fans. Were you scared to battle official? <laughs> Not scared to battle her, but were you scared, nervous coming up? Because you know she punch and shit, oh. she get crazy and shit. Yeah, I wouldn't say I was scared, but I saw, I saw her as being one of my tougher opponents, which is why like I wanted to challenge because people say Katoto don't punch, she can't go against somebody that's punching, she's gonna punch my head off. So right. that was a challenge and, and for salute, me. Salute, I, I, gotta, I, I don't mean to cut you off. Oh, hold on, dude, before that, I don't mean to cut you off then. Salute to her because, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day, I can't say Tori is going to be your toughest out of all of them because she was tough, too. You know what I'm saying? I thought she was going to take your head off, to be honest with you, and shit. And you came back. You I came think out, everybody thought y'all, that. Y'all, you came out swinging. You know what I'm saying? Y'all had a dope battle and shit to me, to be honest with you and shit. That third round, with the, with the that just blew our minds and shit. That shit was crazy and, and whatnot. No, I think so, I thought it was dope. You know, did you think you won? Yeah, I think I won. Two one three zero. I'll I'll say two to one. I'll say two to two one. Two to one. Some people say okay. three zero. I'll give it two to one because I mean official. She was doing the thing. Okay. Now let, let's explore this gladiator school thing. You versus Farrah. One round. Right. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both have y'all both mm-hmm. getting crazy. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and that's dope. You know. A lot of people like that one line that you said, which would make Snoop you like to die. Snoop from the wire, Snoop from Baby Boy. That was crazy. That was crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We got to give it up. You know, but Sarah had those bars too, man. She, you know what I'm saying? She, she, was, she was coming, swinging and shit like that, man. Like, how do you assess that battle? Do you think you won that battle? Because, you know what I'm saying, you say you won defeated. So I just want to hear yeah, I think pretty I won. much your opinion on that battle. I won the battle because if you go back and watch the battle, I had I'm going I'm going off crowd reaction. Mm-hmm. My boss had the most reaction from the crowd where I had to bring my boss back. So I'm going off of that. And um at the same time I'm disappointed because as much as me and Farrah was going at it like I think the support the fans deserve to see three rounds. Like that wasn't okay. my choice, that was her choice. She asked for the one round. She asked for one round and I was like, Whatever, cool. Because at the same time, I had to do the awards the same weekend, so I was like, you know what, I'm not going to sweat it. But I feel like the fans mm-hmm. deserve to see three rounds because they was waiting. They see me. And, you know, every time I'm in the ring, you hear her on the sideline, right, all that. So I think they want to see that. Oh, but boy. honestly, but just, just, I don't think she would have hung just, three rounds with me. Let's get it. She wanted to survive three rounds with me. Now, just in her defense, you know what I'm saying? I think that was more of a business move than a I'm scared for tour move. Because, you know, I, I know it's behind the scenes, but I, I'm not going to just, you know what I'm saying, that I don't put business out in the street and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it was more of a business move for all of y'all than, than anything else. But I would like to see three rounds from, from you and you and Farrah, too. That would be fire. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, I, you know, I thought that battle was probably over, not overdue, but, like, probably pretty much probably past its prime. But y'all was getting crazy. I, I respect it. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it was it was definitely dope and shit. Um, let me ask, let me let me ask you this: Are you still gonna explore music? You know what I'm saying? I think I seen a video of you one time. You was in front of a crowd and shit. You was getting busy. You like you was a, you was a, you was a platinum artist. I was like, yo, shit, you get told she got the crowd eating out of out of a bum of hand. Mm-hmm. And shit, what's up with the music? I mean, I say I have been. I kind of slack on the music because outside of, you know, doing the whole battle rap thing, you know, I work like crazy. I have a career outside of battle rap. So it's like mm-hmm. I don't put the the effort into my music as I should. But, yeah, I still be out here rocking shows. So you've seen the footage, and when I do it, I do it well. But Ooh, hopefully me. I can get – I just got to get focused. It's a new year, so hopefully this year I can, um, you know, really get in the studio and focus. I just got to make the time okay. for it. Okay, okay. Um, let's think about making the time for it and, and stuff like that. I noticed that, you know, you don't stray far from home. You know, after we haven't even seen you go outside your home as far as putting in the ring to battle. I'm not saying that you wouldn't and shit like that, but it's battle rap, like, I wouldn't want to say take up too much of your time, like you Hollywood and shit like that, but why are you not one of the girls that's battling back-to-back and shit as opposed to, like, you know, just battling, you know, once every mm-hmm. or twice a year and shit? Uh, honestly, 
I mean, I enjoy battle rap. I enjoy battle rap and everything that comes with it, but I don't feel like battle rap is paying my bills. Like I said, I have a career. Okay. I have a career. I'm a mother at the same time, so. So you're trying to say Queen of the Ring is cheap. Okay, cool, cool. All right, cool. Uh, I'll take that shot. Go ahead. <laughs> Hold on. Patois being a mother right now. She's telling her kids to go to bed. Go ahead. I'm, go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, that's my niece, Roger. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just I think I well, just kind of. Is it, is it, is it the, the, the pace that you got, is that what you prefer as opposed to being like back-to-back battles and shit like that? I would prefer maybe at least at least two battles a year because I know my supporters want to see me. They want to see me in the ring. Okay. Okay. All right. But I feel like when I what? do in the ring, I do enough to stay relevant. Right. Okay. Now, here's, here's my part where I start asking questions, you know what I'm saying, about certain battle rappers. I just need a yes or no answer. You know what I'm saying? I pretty want to do this on Conversations with a Queen. I ain't going to ask you who you would be because you'll you probably say yeah to all of them and shit. So I'm going to pretty much ask you, would you want to battle? And I'm going to give you a name. You just give me a yes or no answer. No explanation. Just a yes or no answer, okay? Yep. You ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Would you want to battle Shayna? Um... Yes or no answer. No, I don't want no, 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 no. No Shane Ashley. Okay. Would you want to battle Bonnie? Would you want to battle my verse? No. Would you want to battle QB? Yeah. Would you want to battle Jazz the Rapper? Yeah. Would you want to battle, let me see, Miss Miami? No. Would you want to battle, let me see, let me see, I'm coming with it. Would you want to battle 40 bars? Yes. Would you want to battle C3? Yes. Would you want to battle... Let me see, let me see, let me see. Mulatto Black. I haven't even seen too much, no. Would you want to battle E-Heart? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. I'm surprised at some of your answers earlier, but... Hey, it, it, it is what it is. We 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 gonna move on from that. You said um, what? <laughs> I said I'm surprised at some of your answers earlier, but like I said, we 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 gonna move on from that and shit and whatnot. Um, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. <laughs> everybody got their top five. They top. Um, everybody got their top five. They top ten. <clears throat> do you feel like do you feel like you number one that you're a queen in the ring, that you're the queen of female battle rap, all these categories, do you feel that way? Like I'm the queen. I won't say I say I'm on my way to being the queen. Some people feel like I am because I see it, but um I feel like I'm the I'm I'm I feel like I'm in my own category. That's why I can't put myself in a category with everybody else. So to me, yeah, I'm a queen. So pretty much you're the queen. Hello? So, I mean, I'm going to say I'm I'm a queen. I definitely still got more work to put in because half the people you just named, I feel like if I was to go against them, yeah, then I can claim that title. In some people's eyes, they feel like I still need to battle a jazz, e-heart. You know what I mean? So it's like, who can really say they're the queen and they ain't really took on certain people? And you think you think some of those people you say yeah to you give them that work that did that you 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 could take them out no ifs ands or buts. Say that again. I said you feel like those some of those people you said yes to that you could take them out no ifs ands or buts to get to where you need to get to. I feel like when I took them on, um, 
Yeah. Sure. I'm not going to flat. Because flat is not what I do. So. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to ask you this. Like I said, I'm saying, I'm, I'm going to say I'm the queen. I'm the queen. Reason being is because I've done, like I said, I've been opening doors. The fact that I made it to the BET Awards. The fact that I made it to the BET Awards. The fact that. Shit. I've been on World Star Hip Hop twice. It's like I'm doing something different. Slow it down, Couture. Slow it down. Slow it down. <laughs> I just always tell people. But, I mean, obviously I'm doing something different that Snoop chose me for a reason. Why? I mean, why? Oh, what? The, the I'm not the only kid who watched everybody else. I conversated with him, I conversated with him and he watched me okay. in the ring. Okay. So, Couture, I haven't thrown the grenade yet. You got to get grenade. That's the big one. You got to give me something. You got to give me a shot that's going to make me throw that grenade, man. You got to make me throw that grenade. <laughs> now, let me tell, let me tell, let me tell you something. I'm going to get into this area. I'm going to get into this area. It might be, it might be, it might be tricky. You just named two of your New England, you know what I'm saying, counterparts or whatever pairs that you want to call them and shit. And that's 40 bars in QB. You think you can get busy when you when you up to the challenge on, on either one of them? Because they put in at work. They they they've been in the game. They they got their name solidified. They legendary. You, you think you could take them out when you when you you across from that ring from them? Come on, Couture. Well, Diva, I, right I, thing. I got I, the, I got the grenade ready. Say say I don't Couture. Step in, I, don't the, step in, <laughs> I don't step Couture, into the ring with it's time. Couture, Couture I'm t- I'm put I'm prepping you. Say the right thing because this grenade needs to be thrown properly. Uh-huh. Now, what's your answer? If you battle forty bars or QB, could you get busy on them and take them out to be that nigga? It's not could I get busy? I'm gonna get busy, people. I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I think 40, 40 and QB both been putting that work and. Talk your shit, Couture. Go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> After they both been putting in that work, so I talk with both of them. But I'm not stepping in the I'm not stepping in the ring and slacking against anybody. I'm not coming to lose to anybody. So you're telling me that you feel like you can be QB or Forty Bars to be the queen of New England, the queen of the ring, the queen of female battle rap. All that in a bag of chips. Say yes, Couture. That's all I need is the yes word. Yeah, Devo. Yes. Here we go. Here we go. It's getting crazy out here. Listen. Don't do. Don't say yeah to satisfy me. This is something you gotta mm-hmm. believe in. You feel what I'm saying? Like, come on, Couture. You trying to be number one? I'm saying my to, my you, mind frame. The way my mind is set up, like I'm not. I'm not gonna tell myself anybody's gonna beat me. You know what? This this is special. You know what I'm saying? And we, we need to. We if, if you ever even battle either one of those two, it can't be in New York, man. We got to do this in New England. We got to either do this in Boston, Connecticut, Rhode Island. We got to do it at the top of the mountain, the Mount Fiji. It's got to be somewhere. Got to be. Yeah, I know, motherfucker. But like, nigga, Mount Fiji ain't in fucking New England. But it's got to be somewhere around there because that's gonna be big. That's gonna bring down the house. It's gonna get crazy. Listen. Listen. But QB, QB is actually one of the battle rap chicks that I like. I mean, because QB and Sean nah, McLaughlin nah, since I first stepped in. Nah, we ain't getting nice. <laughs> no, don't, don't be nice. Oh, trust and believe, you're, you're, still nice. Gonna, you're still going to get a crazy battle, but I definitely fuck with QB. Okay, okay. All right. That's what it is. That's what it is. Because you know me, D, but I don't really be associating with nobody. Uh, I fuck with her. She cool shit. Yeah, we know you. We know you. Let me ask you this. You, um, when you battle... You battle Jay Smooth and shit. You respect her pen game because you took like eighty years to get you know what I'm saying to to in that damn battle and shit like that. You take eighty years on any fucking battle, but you know did you respect her pen game and shit? Like what do you, what was your mindset going in there? Like y'all gotta take her out, yo. She got bars. Yeah, I respect her pen game. I respect everybody's pen game because I know the work that it takes just to do this shit. It's not easy. So okay. With normal, well, all right, what about normal normal base? Normal base, that shit was like a damn near 50-minute battle. And you came in with Jason and Freddie, B. 
You know what I'm saying? I know she was one of the gatekeepers and shit. You feel like that was a threshold you had to pass, you know what I'm saying, to or you know, to be like not say just recognized, but you know, like 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 a badge and shit like that. Like yo, this is normal base. I gotta turn up on her and shit just just to to get through those gates. Yeah, I felt that way because you know, Norma is usually like real aggressive. I think with every battle is is something. Like with Norma it's like the aggression, she she has a presence in the lane. So at times I could be laid back. It all depends on how I'm feeling, so I knew I had to take on that. Like with official, I knew I had to get past them punches. So it's like everybody has something that stands out about them. Okay. And okay. I just thought I was trying that. So. Okay. What do you say to your fans that that's like, I don't know, man. Tori, she she she's in she's she's in. It's gonna be a run for her money for this battle with her and Tori. What what are you gonna say to your fans to assure them that you know? You're gonna get busy and shit. It ain't gonna be a problem. That you 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 going in there for the kill. You going in there for the juggler. You know what I'm saying? Talk to your fans and let them know. You know what I'm saying? When they betting their money and shit, that everything is gonna be all right. What do you gotta say? I mean, when have I let my fans down? When have I let y'all down? This is guitar. Expect the unexpected. That's all. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Listen, man. Are we gonna see um? Like rocket ships and shit like that. You better, you know, listen, don't be bringing BB King out, you know what I'm saying, from the coffin and shit, girl. God rest his soul and shit. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. I don't, 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 nobody killed me out here for that comment. But you be doing some crazy shit, man. I don't want to see nothing crazy. But I going don't know, Wade. I don't, I don't know, Wade. You know they call me the prop queen. I don't know where you use prop. Wait a minute. Against Jay's move, I ain't have no prop against Jay's move. I ain't have no prop against, you, you done, you, you done, no against Jay the Ray. What? You ain't, okay. Let me see. Me and Jay Ray was a crazy battle, and I had no props. That's true. That's true. Me and Jay Smooth was a nice battle. I had no props. So it's like, it's not something, it's not like every battle I'm bringing something crazy out. I just go by, I just do what I feel. Sometimes the props so don't come to the last minute. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this. So. Yo, okay. Explain to me this. This is some intricate shit I want to, I, I, I want to get into. As far as your bars and shit. You know, how do you feel? Where's your category at? You know what I'm saying? Are you just an all-around player or you, you, you rely mostly on punchlines or, or the personal? As a matter of fact, they call you like, you know, you super personal. Like, you just dig the dirt. You, you say Couture works for the FBI, the CIA, the mm-hmm. NRA, the DEA, mm-hmm. and, and, yeah. and the ESPN. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, what, what, I do like, it all. <laughs> yeah, like, number one, let's get to that. How the fuck you get these personals, man? How do you get these personal things? Man? Where do you get this a source of information? Like what do I look like telling you? <laughs> telling you. Guitar, you know, you know the fans are gonna wait for the even, day. Huh? You, you know the fans what? are gonna wait for the day for your personal shit to get out there. You better be prepared for that shit, man. Let me tell you something. I ain't. There's nothing. I have no secrets that I'm hide, hiding. There's nothing that I'm worried about getting out. Um, I don't have shit to hide, and most of the shit that comes up in my battles that people say is shit they made up. So. I mean, you can, people. I post my daughter up. Is my daughter cockeyed? Jada said my daughter's cockeyed with no hair. I post pictures of my daughter's up. I mean, they have to find something to say. I feel like everybody that battles me comes with the same shit. They bring up DJ Ruckus. I think I'm, I think the fans are tired of hearing about him. Like, oh, mm-hmm. now now it's going to be, all right, I fucked the battle rap with Charlie. I was in a relationship with him. So now I'm expecting to hear a bunch of Charlie bars. But besides that, I mean, there's nothing. I don't have anything to hide. Okay. Okay. Well, how do you felt? That's another, that's another question. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to explore. How do you felt when <laughs> when they came up with the Charlie shit, when they found out, you know what I'm saying, about you and Clipsy? Did you feel like that? that's something you ain't want to hear, those bars that kind of hindered you or took something away? Like, you know, how did you feel about that and shit? I mean, I don't really feel no way about it. That's, that's what comes with battle after people find out who you're dealing with, expect to hear about them. I feel like it, it'll come. It'll become annoying after a while, but, but expect to hear about it. Every time you battle somebody, you wanted, that's it, what they want. You, right, but you're so personal, you know what I'm saying? You're so, like, low-key. Is that something you wanted to get out, or you were just like, fuck it, I don't give a fuck? Um, I really didn't care because I actually made a whole post about, like, about it. I didn't really care whether it got out or it didn't. Okay. You know, because that's... Okay, okay, it was okay. Nothing, it was nothing I was ashamed of. That's who I'm with. So. 
Okay, okay. Um, damn, man, I just don't want to run out of time if I ask a, 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 a what you call it. So, what you, uh, listen, I know the one thing, though, that, that I can't say is on your Instagram and shit. You're sporting a lot of different looks lately and shit. You know what I'm saying? You you, you got the fro, you got the, 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 the straight lace or whatever. I'm not too much into that female shit or whatever <laughs> and shit. But is there, any, is there any type of look that you're coming with or is that going to be a surprise and shit when you come to the ring and whatnot? I mean, I don't really know at the time comes. I'll just figure it out. But yeah, I've been switching up my looks. Just trying to be different. Because you, you more, you more girly, girly on the IG and shit. But we never really seen that, like in the battle. You know what I'm saying? The battle sense. You know what I'm saying? If you ever one day it's gonna come like, like and shit, like heels and a dress or some crazy shit like that and whatnot. I don't know. It depends on what I'm feeling. I mean, I don't feel like I need to throw on something tight and throw on the heels to gain the extra attention. If I'm coming in to put on a show regardless, they're going to listen to what I got to say. I mean, some people choose to do it. That's, that's their thing. But when the day comes, I just go with what I feel. Okay. Okay. That's what's up. Where do you think female battle rap is going? I mean, I know you're, 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 you're an observer and shit. I know you'd be watching and, shit and whatnot. Man, how do you feel about female battle rap thus far? Right you're now, I feel opinion. like the... the... <laughs> Right now, we're getting crazy exposure. I think we're right on the same level, you know, with our male counterparts right now. So, I mean, everybody's watching. Everybody's watching Queen of the Ring. People I thought would never, like, when I had I had Jill Scott tweet, she was one, I'm one of her favorites. Like, I didn't think Jill Scott would be mm. watching Battle Rap. Dope. So it was like every, everybody's watching this. Dope, 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 dope. People, oh, we do are watching, are watching us. Like, yeah, that's true. That's true. You would you, would you be down? Right if, if we do like a battle of the sexes, would you be down, you know, down to uh, kill a dude? I told you I was down before. Okay, damn, excuse me. All right, damn. <laughs> damn. Who who do you want to kill? I'm just out of curiosity. What dude do you, you want to you take on? I don't know. I don't really know. I will leave that up to the to the supporters. Whoever they want to see me okay. take on. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. That's cool, man. So that's what's up, man. You know, listen, man. We went through like 44 minutes of talking and shit like that. I'm surprised it wasn't like two minutes because you don't like to say too much shit. I'm probably the only person that could pull an interview out of you and whatnot. But February 7th, watch the throne too, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody got to be there. Get your tickets and shit. Or you could tour fans, yeah, you crazy ass could tour fans. Or you crazy like could tour fans. <laughs> well, tell them that. Let them know, man. Let them know how you they really know. feel. I love my supporters. I appreciate y'all. Y'all already know. Hit me on Instagram, Twitter. I'm always interacting with y'all, so it's all it's love. It's Twitter, not Twitter. It's Twitter. Twitter. Look, I'm from Rhode Island. It's Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I right, bet, bet, bet. So February seventh, seventh, man, you ain't gonna have no two problems and shit. February seventh, right, Couture? You are gonna be there? There's a guarantee. There's a verbal contract. I'll see y'all February seventh, Couture versus Tori. Let's get it. Say no more. All right, peace. Peace.